Welcome to Serverless Security in Microsoft Defender for Cloud. As organizations increasingly adopt serverless computing, securing these workloads becomes critical. Why serverless security is needed? It's a shared responsibility model that applies to serverless services as well. In serverless resources, the cloud provider manages the underlying infrastructure, be it compute, operating system, scaling, patching, etc. But security of the code, data, identity, and configurations remains the customer's responsibility. Misconfigured triggers, insecure function code, or over-permissive IAM roles can still lead to breaches even if the infrastructure is secure. Microsoft Defender for Cloud as a cloud-native application protection platform delivers comprehensive visibility, security, posture management for serverless across multi-cloud environments. It extends coverage to Azure Web Apps, Azure Functions, and AWS Lambda. The scenarios include discovery of serverless resources, automatically discovers all deployed web apps, Azure Functions, and AWS Lambda in your environment and lists under unified inventory. With continuous posture assessment, it identifies misconfigurations such as public endpoints, weak authentication, or missing encryption. It evaluates configuration baselines such as HTTPS enforcement, TLS versions, authentication methods, detects overly permissive IAM roles, insecure public access policies, or insecure environment variables. And vulnerability scanning identifies vulnerable dependencies in deployed function packages and provides remediation guidance. For web apps, it defines unpatched frameworks, dependencies, or CMS components. For Lambda, it identifies vulnerable dependencies or unpatched libraries within deployed Lambda packages. Attack path analysis maps how compromised serverless resources could lead to other cloud resources using Defender Attack Path Graph. To enable serverless security in Defender for Cloud, under Environment Settings, select the subscription. Defender CSPM plan must be enabled in the subscription. Under the Defender CSPM settings, you will need to enable the agentless scanning for serverless toggle. Within few hours, Defender for Cloud detects all serverless resources under your subscription. The inventory blade lists all the discovered serverless resources. Additionally, all associated data will be visualized in both the resource map and the inventory. In the recommendations tab, provides a list of all security recommendations. Defender for Cloud evaluates each serverless resource for security misconfigurations that could pose a security risk. This includes issues such as overly permissive access, denial of valid risks, network vulnerabilities, required updates, and more. One recommendation on serverless, for example, overly per permissive permission should not be configured on function app, web app, or logic app. This specifies excessive permissions can enable attackers to modify configurations, deploy malicious code, or exfiltrate data across the subscription. High privileges can allow attackers to move laterally and access other resources like Azure storage accounts, key vaults, or databases. To remediate, assign managed identities with least privileged roles. The resource help page for Function App helps you track all active recommendations affecting that resource. The vulnerability assessment generated the recommendation update newtonsoft.json. Defender for Cloud scans function and web app code packages for known vulnerabilities, detects insecure dependencies, outdated libraries. The version of the newtonsoft.json library currently used in web app resource is outdated. The remediation guidance recommends upgrading to a secure and supported version. Associated CVEs tab gives additional information about the fix. Defender for Cloud serverless posture also covers AWS Lambda and it generates recommendations for misconfigured Lambda functions. It also identifies vulnerable dependencies or unpatched libraries within deployed Lambda packages. Here is a recommendation, code signing should be enabled on Lambda. Code signing helps ensure that only trusted code is deployed to your Lambda functions. Here, in this Lambda function, Defender for Cloud has identified that code signing is not enabled on Lambda, which poses a risk of unauthorized modifications to the Lambda function code. Enabling code signing ensures the integrity and authenticity of the code. Using Cloud Security Explorer, you can proactively hunt for possible attack scenarios due to misconfigured serverless resources. Select Compute, Serverless, in select Azure Web Apps and Azure Function Apps that has vulnerabilities with severity, critical, and high. Click on Search. Receive the list of web apps and function apps with critical and high severity vulnerabilities. Click on View Details to get more information about these vulnerabilities. Similarly, here is a query to hunt for a scenario where web app has system assigned managed identity with permissions to access storage account and that storage account has sensitive data. Click on view details 
and we see the web app has assigned a managed identity that can authenticate into storage account with storage account contributor and storage blob data owner roles and the storage account has sensitive data info types like ssn credit card number etc all the discovered inventory in defender for cloud is also available in defender xdr portal it lists the serverless cloud resources like azure functions and web apps deployed in the subscription Defender for Cloud Attack Path identifies and visualizes potential attack chains across your cloud environment, helping you prioritize and remediate the most exploitable security risks before attackers can leverage them. Open Microsoft Defender Portal and use Exposure Management Attack Paths dashboard. Here are some attack paths targeted to Azure Functions and web apps. Also see affected resources, related insights, and recommendations. Here is one of the attack path targeted towards the Azure Web App. Internet exposed Azure VM with high severity vulnerabilities allows lateral movement to Azure Web App. An Azure virtual machine called Woodgrove SQL is reachable from the internet and has high severity vulnerabilities and allows remote code execution. The Azure VM can authenticate as an Azure managed identity. The managed identity has permissions to the Azure Web App called Web App Demo. The attack story explains that attacker can exploit the vulnerabilities via the internet and gain control on the VM. Attacker can authenticate as managed identity, use the identity to access, change, or delete the web app. Attacker can take over this web app, change and manage configurations and settings, and access the app data. Defender for Cloud maps each step of an attack path to MITRE attack, so you can see which tactics or techniques an attacker would be using, which resource or identity is involved at each hop. For more details, visit aka.ms Defender for Cloud.